Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do, how to draw a circle and do a obstacle or collision avoidance by using a Python script on Rose Gazebo. So, but firstly, I urgently recommend you to install the Rose environment on your computer, uh, which I show you now, yeah, uh, through this, address you can find some installation instructions and also ROS tutorials how to use it how to see some notes and something like that you will be learning the basics of the ROS uh, through this uh, tutorial if you follow it so I also recommend you to download the turtle bat uh, files and you can do it by uh, looking at the setup part, if you click this one, there are some uh, instructions about how to install it on your computer. And also a Ubuntu server is necessary for that. Otherwise, the ROS is not working on Windows. So that's okay for the installation part. Let's come to the process. Yes, this is my map, but I'm going to show you my code firstly. Uh, let me type it. Yeah, the code is like that. Uh, the firstly, you need, to, you need to import some files, some libraries of ROS functions, actually, ROS topics and also some functions of Python library. So I opened a class, then I use some functions in it. And in the first function, uh, it's the main function indeed. Uh, I use the global circle and the circle is the object of a twist. Twist is a type actually uh, indeed. And also I just, in the code, at the top, you can see some import lines. These are, uh, I wrote, these are used for uh, importing some uh, functions and libraries of Python and ROS. These are necessary, otherwise you will, you will not be able to use them in your code. So after this part, this is the main class we use we code it, we will code it in a main class. And in the main class, we have some functions in it. And as you see, uh, the first function is the init function. This is the main function, in fact. And also I've created a circle object, which is a uh, type of civist, a civist. And also I initialize some uh, publisher and subscribers. I have two subscribers. One of them is for uh, LiDAR sensors and one of them is for odometry sensors. And I already initialize them in the, at the top of the code, as you can see. And after that, I've, I've got another function, which is for obstacle avoidance. Now here, I'm just, I'm just printing some uh, data which is coming from LiDAR sensor and this is for front, this is for left, right and back and these are determined by the angle here. This is the angle zero, that means it, uh, it looks, it seeks for uh, the front and 90 is for left side, 20, 70 270 is the is for the right side and also 180 for the back side. I'm just report I'm just uh, printing them while the code is working and also uh, I just determined the distance. This here is I've got a distance variable. This variable is uh, set to 0 0.7, which is a bit close to the uh, obstacle. So that's why I chose it. And here is the if statement. In this statement, I just I just say that if 
an obstacle is not closer than 0 0.7, uh, keep moving. It means that uh, the, the linear velocity is set to 0 0.5 and also angular velocity is set to 0 0.1. It means that our, our, our turtle butt is drawing a circle which has a, a radius of five meters. So I'm, uh, while it's going, the system, uh, the system reports that is cycling. And also there is an as statement. In the statement, the statement is used for when an obstacle near is detected, has been detected. In this situation, our robot has stopped, stops, and also, uh, and also the angular speed is set to 0 0.5 because it needs to be, it needs to rotate uh, to avoid the collision. So it rotates and then it checks again. It checks again if there is an obstacle near uh, itself. So now it has, it has more uh, checkings is because if it rotates and there's another obstacle around it, it should, it might uh, call it. So to avoid it, I just make it more. Like there is checking the zero angle, 15 angle, 345 angle, uh, 45 angle, 300, 11, 315 angle, angle is checking many angles where uh, the lighter sensors are located. And also if there is no any, no any obstacle, it uh, keeps moving. So then I publish the move object. So it's like it should be circle. It just publishes the circle object. And then it's time for odometry uh, function. In this function, I'm just printing the position and orientation of our turtle butt. And after that, uh, we, just, we just went out of the uh, class and we just uh, ran the class and initialized the node. And after that, that uh, raspi.spin means uh, to loop it until the system is executed. Okay, the explanation part is done, I guess. And also let's go to the uh, simulation part. These are already working and also we will just uh, run the code. As you can see, the uh, our turtle butt is drawing a circle. I mean, circling. And if there is an obstacle near that detected, it will stop and rotate. Let's watch. If we get close to the uh, map, we can see it more easily. Yeah, it stops rotates and keeps going. Let's watch it a bit more. See the trajectory of the robot has changed, but it still keeps uh, drawing a circle. Otherwise uh, you would, uh, otherwise you need, you will, you will need to find some set points and, and if it's out of the trajectory you need to make it to go to set points but it's not the topic of this project so this is done properly in my site yeah it's another obstacle he has faced it has faced and it 
stops and rotates. You cannot see, but you will see it will be, it will appear now. Yeah. It saw another obstacle, it rotates again and it keeps moving. I think that's all. I hope this video is bene will be beneficial for you to understand how to do how to write a ROS script, Python script on ROS and simulate it on Gazebo. If you have any question, you can comment. I will I will all read them. I will read them all. So thank you for listening to me and spending your time. See you in next videos.